Hello everyone. Well, here's another project that we're into. We have uh, some small half-inch rare earth magnets. I think they're uh, N38s or N42s. There's six of them on that disc going around. don't have my tachometer broke, so I don't know the speed. And uh, we're testing heating up copper pipe or copper period to try to uh, burn off some of our uh, solar since we have so much solar to work with right now and uh, so we're we're looking into heating uh, the copper pipe to maybe heat the house or a room with it and burn the solar off that way um, just a, an experiment more or less but uh, this is what it looks like. We've been running about five minutes. And um, from what we see, the uh, copper tubing is not really the way to go. Um, I've got some strapping, copper strapping down here by the drill. Uh, that I know heats up better because I had it in my hand last night when I tried this out. And it definitely gets warm, but you got to be pretty close. But uh, we'll... Uh, do a little more experimentation and get back with you. Well, uh, it's about six and a half amps we're drawn for this uh, little motor. This is a uh, Harbor Freight motor. Um, runs a uh, water pump. And I took the water pump off and now we're just using the shaft and the motor. Uh, mounted to a block of wood, mounted the uh, pipe, and uh, we're getting, see what this thing says, uh, in the middle is what we're finding where most of the heat is at, uh, between where the magnet cross, and that's uh, varying depending on how you want to look at it. 96, 97 degrees sometimes, and uh, just uh, like I say, my uh, tachometer is broke, so I can't tell you how fast it's going. Right now we're running at uh, let's see, voltage on the battery is 10.2 because this is a battery that uh, has a cell that's dropped out. And uh, it's just a real simple operation, so we're going to have to uh, reconstruct it and go with the uh, copper strap, or the, yeah, the copper strap and not the pipe. pipe doesn't give a big enough footprint on the magnet. Okay, I'll post this so everyone can see what's going on, and uh, then we'll uh, do some more experimenting. Yeah, I figured I'd better stop this thing so you can see what we did. Uh, put uh, put the magnets, square magnets, half inch square magnets, in a round hole. Fits really good. You got to drive them in, and uh, you can see the uh, clearance is not bad. I haven't measured it yet, but we're probably down around. A quarter of an inch or so between the two magnets but uh, like I said we're going to do some more experimenting just want to show you everything's going on with it okay 